Welcome to my hallway. Now, I happen to think with hallways, because they're such transitional area, um, areas, and generally quite skinny, so there's not a lot of room with them, that a lot of people neglect them. And there's a couple of key things that you can do to your hallway to give it a bit of vav of them and knock it out of the park. Obviously, I spoke about the restrictive palette a second ago. So the ceiling and the walls are all painted out in one of my signature colors, happens to be Bedford Brown. But then to knock it out of the park, and so fundamentally important for hallways, is mirrors. And the bigger that you can go, even in a small hallway, the grander it will look. Then I've taken it to another level by adding a piece of vintage. This happens to be Mal Vintage Collection. It's kind of Indian and it just feels quite ornate and lovely. And then I've kind of put one of our shaggy lamps on it and a great big bowl and everything on there, even though they're quite statement worthy, follow a similar kind of palette. So having a skinny console or a skinny shelf in your hallway takes it to new heights. The next thing, and this goes for any room, not just the hallway, because when you enter into a room, you want to feel that the room has this element of grandeur about it. We need to get the eye up. So you get the eye up by hanging a pendant or a chandelier from the ceiling or art on a wall. And the minute the eye goes up, you just feel that the space is a lot cooler than it really is. Another great trick for hallways is pattern. Now, because they're quite narrow, generally, if everything is a solid hue, it just reads as a bit energy sapping. So I would thoroughly recommend a kind of a patterned runner or rug in your hallway. It could be woolen, it could be vinyl. Just pattern is like a herb or a spice. I'm gonna talk about it the whole presentation through till you're sick of me, but pattern and texture are like a herb and a spice and they add instant pizzazz. And then I've patterned up the stairs and just put a few botanicals up the stairs. Hallways nailed. Let's go to the next room. Your checklist for hallways. To turn hallways around, make sure your hallway encompasses these four game-changing components. Colour, texture, pattern and scale. Always, repeat, always, always, always add pattern. Pattern adds a level of complexity to, to a space, which is super important in hallways as they are so often overlooked. From rugs to runners to books to art to vases, think of pattern like a herb or a spice. It adds instant bazaars. Group things in odd numbers because odd numbers are so much more pleasing to the eye than even. Think five roses in a vase, one painting on a wall, three cushions on a bench. It's all to do with how our brains work, because when you see things in odd numbers, the eye is forced to move around more, which makes for a more intriguing visual experience. Clever, no? Always draw the eye up. When the eye goes high, everything appears taller, grander and cooler. 